Hello and welcome to another test of the DX4. But I'm going to be honest with you, before I take flight, in my opinion, <clears throat> it's better off getting a more expensive drone that has the monitor built into the remote rather than trying to download all that app stuff. Because that app stuff, man, you put that crap in your phone and you don't know how it's going to act. And I, you know, it, it, I've got I've got an Android phone and it kept saying product not available. It's just a bunch of crap. So in my opinion, go ahead and and pay another extra 100, 200 dollars and get a remote that has the monitor built in with an SD card that you can just transfer to your computer cuz all that app crap. I just I'm not into that. You know, you might download a virus or spyware or this or that where but anyhow let me go ahead and sync it and when you sync it you got to go up on the left controller and then down now for some reason the wind just picked up and this thing sucks in the wind but like I said earlier we're going to still walk it like a dog oh hang on didn't catch ah. see what's wrong here me reset it and I've got on these like mega two spike glasses and I'm not sure how good they are oftentimes when I film what I'm filming is not even in the in the in the camera so but let's give it a shot there we go oh. 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 Shoot. <laughs> you see how a little wind screws it up man Alright, reset.